Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to simplify the fourth root of 81 times x to the 16th. Now, um, I'm going to do this in two separate ways. One thing that we notice that if you have the square root of a times b, that equals the square root of a times the square root of b. And that doesn't matter if that's, that doesn't, it doesn't matter if that's the fourth root or the square root. So what I'm going to, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to break these up into dealing with the fourth root of 81 and then dealing with the fourth root of x to the 16th. Now, when dealing with numbers, um, Unless you are able to identify what number multiplied by itself four times gives you 81, which square roots, sometimes people you know, know the square roots because we use them so often. But fourth roots, it might not become so familiar with you. So a lot of times I say, factorize it. Just break it down into its prime factorization. So 81 can be broken down into 9 times 9. And that can be factorized to 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. So that is what we call the prime factorization of 81, because 3 times 3 times 3, or 3 is not prime numbers, and they all multiply to give you 81. Now, when taking the square root of a number, for instance, 4, we know that's 2, but square roots, you're looking for pairs of numbers to pull out. So when you're looking into the fourth root of 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, you're looking into four numbers that are the same. Just like with square root, you're looking for two numbers. Well, the four numbers that I'm multiplying by myself here is going to be 3. So the fourth root of 3 multiplied by itself four, four times is just going to be 3. Now, x to the 16th, you can do the same way. You can do the fourth root of x times itself 16 times and then do sets of 4. Um, however, that's just, a lot of writing, that's just a lot of writing x's in there, right? So the other way I like to look at it is looking at it this way. If I, instead of doing pairs, I could also say, well, the square root of 2 squared just gives us 2. So if I'm looking for the fourth root of 2 to the fourth, that equals 2. So I want to be able to rewrite how many, I want to rewrite this in x to the 16th in terms of x to the fourth power. So how many x to the fourth powers do I need to multiply to give us x to the 16th? Now remember, when you multiply exponents with powers, you add the powers. Um, or exponents, you add the powers. So 4 plus 4 is 8. 12, 16th. And then I can take the fourth root of each of these individually. So then I'm just left with x times x times x times x, which is x to the fourth. And that will be my final simplified expression. Thanks.